Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, March 3rd, 2015. The markets in New York are open. And the big number today, 5,000. For the first time since the dot-com boom, the Nasdaq soaring to new highs and closing above 5,000, making it just the third time ever trading has reached that milestone. And taking a live look at Times Square, trading getting underway. Investors looking to keep that momentum going now on this Tuesday. Hey, everyone. I'm Dan Kleffler in New York. So here with the details on what happened. Rick Newman from Yahoo Finance. Rick, what, what was the big push behind this? There wasn't a big push, Dan. It was, a, it was a bunch of little pushes, and that's the way you want the stock market to go up. Obviously, uh, this has taken 15 years to get back to this level. And this time around, it feels more or less right. The last time, it was a super fast rise. Uh, companies that were way overvalued, fair to say a bunch of companies that were on the NASDAQ then don't even exist anymore. Today, the, uh, this index is much more stable. It's anchored by companies like Apple, Microsoft, lots of other companies there. So it's a, it's a peak that feels right. A, a peak that feels right. Okay, now you say peak there because you didn't say anything about a bubble then. Because I know oftentimes we look at 2000 and we look at now 2015 and we say, are, are, are the same environments in place right now for the possibility of a burst? Right. Uh, well, you, know, you never know it, whether it's a bubble until it bursts, honestly. In, in other words, you only know after the fact. But what's different this time is these stocks are not nearly as overvalued as they were back in 2000. So when you look at the price of the stocks relative to the earnings of the companies, um, the price to earnings ratio is, is around 30, uh, 31, I think. So that's OK. Back in 2000, that price to earnings ratio was something like 190. In other words, you had these sky high prices. And in many cases, companies weren't even earning profits yet. So this was all based on the, uh, you know, this belief that something brand new was at hand and it was just going to take off, become stratospheric uh, without any obstacles. Uh, it did take off, but there were lots of obstacles. And these companies have now come back to earth. We've washed out the companies, the sort of phantom companies that were never going to make it. And we're talking about real companies now. Hey, so what kind of an impact does this have like on the S&P and the Dow then? I, you know, it, re it really reflects the same trends. I don't think it, it has any effect at all on those indexes. Those indexes, of course, uh, have been hitting um, a bunch of new highs uh, since we bounced back from the recession in the 2008-2009 financial meltdown. All of these indexes are, are mostly rising for the right reason, which is that the U.S. economy is gaining strength. Now, we, all, we have that wild card in there, which is this uh, unusually aggressive Federal Reserve monetary easing. That's, that's far from over. That's still in place. And as the Fed begins to tighten up on monetary policy, maybe later this year, we will see how that affects the markets. Um, but the Fed has said it's going to go slow. So what we're really not seeing right now is a sport of, sort of speculative insanity that we saw in 2000. So we should feel more comfortable about it this time. OK, and then the big question is, where's the Nasdaq go from here now? I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Dan, nobody knows. Um, uh, but there again, there are many. There are fewer signs that we're that, that the, all, these stocks are terribly overvalued. Now we could see a stall in the stock markets because it's, we've seen a terrific run right now. Um, stocks are more expensive than they used to be, and that's true of the S and P index as it is of the of the Nasdaq index. Um, at what point will? Uh, this this great rally stall. We don't know, but um, as long as the economy uh, keeps growing and we keep seeing jobs coming back and the fundamental improvement in the economy we've been seeing, I, I, we're probably not going to see any any kind of huge wipeout in stocks. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. And Rick, I mean, I'm just that simple of a guy. You know exactly the question I'm going to be asking next, which is why you come armed with the answers. Rick Newman from I Yahoo. wish I had prepared a pithier answer for you, Dan. No, I mean, that's it. Listen, you don't have a crystal ball. And every time we always ask you about that. So it's our, it, it is on us anyway. Rick Newman from Yahoo Finance. Rick, have a good Tuesday. You too. See you. Keep up with the latest headlines right here on ABCNews.com. You've been watching The Big Number. I'm Dan Kleppler in New York.